Mostly just like muscle shit. Girls that aren't expected to be muscly. It's more like a curvaceous thing. Beauty standards have shifted though. Let's Google for the perfect male physique. Something interesting shows up. Muscles? The same for men's health. Duh. This wasn't always the case. It wasn't? Now, let me close those tubs before I start getting strange looks again. But many are calling <laughs> this phenomenon one of the biggest threats to the fitness industry. And this isn't coming from people that just want an excuse to be lazy. Works. Healthy relationship with food. I don't court a banana. I don't. Nor is this guy needs to lay off the roids. Holy shit, this guy needs to relax. Holy. They're coming from the give yourself a hug type people. Yeah, they're there, cookie monster. In fact, the people speaking out are heavily incentivized to shut up and smile. And most do. But the more you listen, the more you realize Bill harsh Russell. truths. For an increasing number of men and boys, this otherwise benign desire to be more attractive transforms into something categorically disordered. This is a systemic problem, too taboo for television, that the human brain isn't built to recognize, often until it's too late. No. Oh no, did they feature the guy that like ate bull's testicles and then he turns out he's actually doing roids? Yeah. There's no short secret recipe for it, you know, you just have to- yeah. Don't do this at home. I don't ever want to be in that good of shape again. <laughs> it's not, it's not it's natural. There's work. not many drug use or abuse issues where you get complimented yeah, so much. They see Mega. it on the small screen on their phone, they see it on the big screen in Hollywood movies, it's in their hands when they're a f***ing toddler. So yeah, I decided to start, start trying. Don't compare yourself to these people because they're probably lying to you anyway. You need to pull your head out your ass and understand. It takes its toll. It's not right, is it? I know it's not right, but I can't say for sure that this is going to stop. Aww. So how did body dysmorphia become so widespread and deadly? But more importantly, why are more people not speaking about this? You mean to tell me, you mean to tell me there's 14 year olds doing roids? That's so fucked. That's horrible. What is the perfect male physique? For me growing up, it was something like this. Health magazines suggest the same. Over time, this ideal has morphed towards something leaner and more muscular. Trust me. Hollywood films make this clear. Similarly, with reality TV shows, female dolls are criticized for becoming unrealistic, but male dolls are arguably even worse. 1960s G.I. Joe looks like he's about to unveil- <laughs> This is the worst doll I've ever seen. What the hell? <laughs> the iPhone. 30 years later, he looks more like a bodybuilder. Early Luke Skywalker, besides modern Skywalker. What? Wow! Batman, besides modern Batman. You get the point. If we ask AI to show us the ideal male physique, a similar image is painted. There's a clear ideal becoming more and more extreme. More beef! So, what are we seeing here? These are the men of the Woodaby tribe, showing their slender bodies, white teeth and eyes, in a beauty pageant to win the attention of the female judges. This is what the peak male looks like in the Bodai tribe, where the men compete to be the fattest. What? Ancient Greek statues depict a lean muscular body as desirable, while traditional Japanese culture associates masculinity with self-discipline, loyalty, and honor. To identify the physical ideal, we need to understand what beauty is. The Oxford Dictionary defines it as the quality of being pleasing to the senses or to the mind. And looking across different cultures, the ideal seems to vary and change over time. Yeah. Social media and the internet have erased cultural boundaries and created a highly competitive environment <laughs> where only the most extreme stand out. This emphasis on leanness. Education, baby. Guys, it was literally on there for half a second, man. To muscularity isn't just a Western thing, it's gone global. We are witnessing the homogenization of the ideal male physique, 
what some refer to as hypermasculinity. Even society's ideal men seem to be getting stuff done to achieve this. Gage. There's been a lot of talk about, you know, red pill and self-improvement, creating your hypermasculine character. Looking like you swallowed a shovel is probably not the answer. The psychology that somehow would have led to this guy thinking he needs- Is there just permanently, uh, what is it called? What's that new thing? They call it the min-maxing, the mu-maxing? They're permanently mewing. It's a jaw implant or something. I can't even fathom. A self-improvement yeah, can absolutely go too far. We aren't just talking Greek statue physiques. That was passed long ago. From facial aesthetics to height and muscle definition, some of the methods men are using Whoa. to achieve such ideals you might find disturbing. Boon maxing. That smile you see is from a man who just had his bone shattered in a surgery. Why? He looks normal! What is wrong with people? It's add two inches to his height. A painful procedure that more and more oh men are getting. God. Although Mikesh recorded the physical pain at a 9 out of 10, he stated it was less than the emotional pain he felt when people mocked him for his height. We'll get rid of those love handles to us. Other men are getting abdominal implants with some Oh my god. Injecting oil into their muscles. Oh my god, what? This is like... Yo, Bowberry shouldn't look at this. Madam Balberry, no! Each year, over 2 million Americans have cosmetic surgery, a number that's rising, with many trying to achieve an instant boost in muscularity. Bam, Total bam, spent right on my body now. modifications is 950,000 US dollars. Now, people can do as they please, but for many, one cycle of surgery is never enough. Bigorexia is a. Oh, yeah, yeah, they, they get addicted to the feeling of, um. What is it called? The, the feeling of getting more and more surgeries done on them. Dysmorphia people have, where they never see themselves as muscular enough. Really, I'm, I'm very curious as to why my waist is thicker than usual. Upper chest needs work. Why is my waist so thick? My arms just aren't big enough in comparison to my, to my chest. Yeah, that's fucked. Imagine you're this guy and you're like, I don't look good enough. That's sad. That's my back. Of course, yeah. this can lead them down a path of steroid abuse. When I was 15, I did something crazy that changed my life forever. And with the rise <gasps> of steroid-like compounds readily available Aww. to buy on the internet, many teenagers are shutting down their hormones for a more muscular physique. Do I take any supplements as a 15-year-old bodybuilder? Yes, let me show you what to take. Uh, I'm currently on 50 milligrams a day of Rag140, so 25 milligrams a day of MKC. What? Who's giving them the money to buy this shit? This costs so much money! Seven, seven. You might argue these people are just morons. However, some of the methods used in Hollywood are also questionable. I was eating so much chicken breast that the hardest part about it was actually chewing it all. So I would just put it into a blender, blend it all up, and just drink chicken. In fact, to achieve his physique in Baywatch, Zac Efron was also taking powerful diuretics to dry himself out. When I was done with that movie, I don't ever want to be in that good of shape again. <laughs> oh my god. Really? I don't think it's surprising that many people struggle with disordered eating. Well, yeah, look at his fucking body mass. It's probably like nothing. His f his fat mass is probably insane. Eating habits like Freddie Flintoff, who developed bulimia. I became known as a fat cricketer, really. That's when I started doing it. You put your fingers down your throat, as you gag, you bite into your hand so hard, the wrenching to get it out. It's not right, is it? I know it's not right, but I can't say for sure that this is going to stop. If you can look past the airbrush marketing and Hollywood magic, eating and exercise disorders amongst celebrities are everywhere. So if I'm gonna get a girlfriend, I gotta have a six pack. And so I thought that if I didn't eat anything, well, I wouldn't get any fat. And then if I worked out a ton, I would get big and muscular. Meanwhile, some of the biggest influencers are using Photoshop, Video Shop, and other deceptive practices to stand out on social media. Here in the Western cultures. That is so sad. It's so common to see this in girls, but with boys, it's like, People don't really talk about it. Genuinely. Yeah. I had a friend who was um, a recovering bulimic. That's sad. There has always been a tradition of muscularity, but... People really need to look at Ben Affleck and his rapid muscle growth and loss that he would do for movies. That shit is so horrifying. Yeah, and um, who's that other actor? Um... Uh, that one that did Batman, where he went from, like, really muscular to skinny as fuck. Christian Bale, that one, yes. Yeah, he said he got, 
he lost like he was went from super skinny to like giga buff within like years and then i'm talking about like five less than five years in the last several decades this emphasis on male muscularity seems to have accelerated no matter where you look this can be seen yet nobody wants to admit it so where could this change be coming from and what could be driving it social media it's the same thing as with women there's little girls who look up to women who have like photoshopped asses and boobies and massive surgeries done to them and they're like oh yeah i i can do that yeah and then they never do that well they never can realistically over time the hollywood portrayal of the ideal man seems to be getting more and more muscular so when i got to orange is the new black this isn't about women i'm talking about my perspective i don't know anything about this in terms of from man's perspective i'm just saying it's very similar like you didn't have to type that uh for that for the first shirtless scene i definitely did some unhealthy crash dieting and being in tv long enough i'll tell you this is something that almost crash all dieting. actors that was and the actresses word. do crash for these dieting. shirtless scenes they often achieve their physiques through aggressive crash dieting at the expense of their physical health to oh, meet no. hollywood's demands it's a couple hours a day and it was it was brutal uh the tricky part was eating the same occurs in bollywood so putting on the weight was fun i could eat and drink whatever i wanted and have a great time and i had a ball i have to say i had a ball a but bod. it was also most uncomfortable you know? even my wrestling training was affected because i was carrying so much weight that i couldn't really move fast enough this was the silver era of bodybuilding this is the gold era and this is today with many bodybuilders displaying what bubble gut you're ripped you're huge wait what's bubble gut is it like the muscles in your stomach like you fricked up? What the hell? You look fantastic. No stomach, no nothing, no problems. Because people do not come to a show to see bellies. And if they want to do that, they go to the maternity ward or something like that, and they can uh, see plenty of stomachs there. Plumberism <laughs> is a side effect of heavy steroid usage. Oh. I want to talk about my belly. <laughs> Probably don't need to tell you. A similar physical progression. Steroid abuse and you get a gut from it? What? Can be seen in reality. I've never TV. heard of that. Seriously? It's like you're photoshopped. This is Jason Momoa. Aquaman. Looks like a normal His physique, guy. Labeled as a dad bod. Same thing for an off. What? That's a dad bod? Bro, he looks like a normal guy, dude. That is fucked up, man. Bro, that's such a horrible fucking thing to say. That is literally like what? He's he is lean. He has like a slight bulge on his side and that's it, man. Yeah, he's still ripped. You can see it. Is this horrible? <laughs> yeah, I want this dad bod. Half my just like I want to be like that. Oh, Aquaman. His physique Labeled as a dad bod. That's Same cringe. thing for an off-season bodybuilder, Chris Bumstead. Can you rate this guy's physique for me, Jim? Tad, can't see him. Oh. Part of me wants to put these. Did she say just ten dad bod? What? She cut. What is wrong with you? Rate this guy's physique for me, Jim. Tad, can't see him. Oh. Dad bod for that? Dads don't have fucking like that dude holy shit part of me wants to put these warped ideals down to improving knowledge insane. resources I didn't, I didn't realize man i did not realize it was this bad again it doesn't affect me it's like flabbergasted and just the natural result of increased competition by the rise of cosmetic drugs technology to manipulate videos oh, and a super them. competitive social media environment where people only post their highlight reels it can be difficult to separate social media from reality. But others have argued there's a dark... What's, what's wrong with that guy? It can be difficult to separate social media from reality. That, that's a ripped guy. Like, what the hell? I thought my dad was ripped. He didn't have a six-pack, just massive arms. Yeah, like... It's, it's sad, dude. But others have argued there's a darker side. You see, some people profit immensely off these warped ideals. An invisible hand. Sounds very tinfoil hat. 
But to understand this perspective, we need to go deeper. To the man who wrote the book on propaganda and shaped the world of marketing as we know it. Oh, of course. It always comes back to propaganda, huh? 1920. Women didn't smoke. It was extremely taboo, a masculine thing to do. There's a taboo by men that does not permit women to Alana, society judges men's physique based off of muscle definition, not muscle mass. That's so dumb. I don't know, man. Maybe I have a different warped opinion, warped view of it, but like those big um what are they called? The uh, uh the world's strongest men, like are they considered fat even though they can like lift like men who are like half their size and like put them on their shoulders? Yeah, society can judge this. Yeah, strong men, they look they look big, chunky. Yeah, like it. <laughs> Yeah, girls don't want some fucking hulking steroid ass looking man. I've talked to girls, they don't want that. I think it's kind of scary. Maybe I don't hang out with the right people. I don't know. Smoke, either in public or even at home. Of course, the tobacco industry wasn't happy missing out on 50% of potential customers. Yeah. Everything they tried to do to appeal to the female demographic failed. They simply wouldn't buy based on rational reasons presented. This I had a friend who abused steroids. He got so big he couldn't wipe his own butt while sitting on the toilet. Yeah, they, can't, they get so big because the muscles in their back. Oh man, I'm, I'm trying to demonstrate, but I forget I have a 2D model. But they can't put their arms behind their back. Like... <laughs> Like, it's a real thing. Like, you've seen the comedy skits of men putting, like, stickers on their back and they can't get it, but it's actually true. I have a free friend, woman, bodybuilder, who stopped having a period. Yeah, because period is very affected by hormones. Like, even the slightest hormone shift can, like, fuck it up. Because <laughs> of no fat. Yeah, fat, fat, fat influences, um, hormone production. Yeah, and no egg production? Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. The stigma was too much to overcome. When along came the young marketer, Edward Bernays, he had a secret weapon. Knowledge passed down by his notable uncle, Ooh. the father of psychoanalysis. Sigmund Freud believed that much of human decision-making was driven by unconscious and irrational impulses, often resulting in excess and overcompensation. Bernays decided to apply his uncle's theories to marketing, he didn't need to appeal to the individual woman and the rational benefits of smoking. He needed to completely reshape the cultural perception of smoking. Uh, so he hired a group of women at a big event, told them to all light up cigarettes, with photographers ready to take photos of them. These ladies weren't just lighting cigarettes, but torches of freedom, demonstrating their ability to assert their independence. He had stayed- what? The difference between strong man and bodybuilders is that one is built for practicality and the other for looks. Yeah, no, I'm sure that people who are, um, you know, bodybuilders, they're still, like, relatively strong. They're stronger than me, obviously. But strong men, I don't know, man, I've, I wouldn't be surprised if someone fucking said, oh, bodybuilders, they're so much, like, more, uh, they're mo much more better looking than a strong man. It's like, be isn't beauty subjective in a lot of ways, too? He a political protest to invoke the right emotions in the woman. Next morning, there wasn't a newspaper in the United States. Even the New York Times had a front page story. Debutantes light torches of freedom to protest man's inhumanity uh, to women by a taboo against smoking. Oh my god, it was a proper... It was a propaganda bit. Holy... It worked. What? Bernays would go on to use trick after trick after trick in the marketing and political world. He wrote the book on propaganda and set the path of much of the advertising you see today. Of course. With companies hiring psychoanalysts to capture... It... Yeah, it sells. Yep. yep, everybody gets cancer. Of course. Of course. 
capitalize on this new approach to marketing. A shift from need to desire in a post-war yeah. America. Modern man quite often tries to work off his frustrations by spending on self-gratification. Modern man instead he should punch a woman. <laughs> and is eternally ready to fill out his self-image by purchasing <laughs> products which complement it. And what better way to improve one's self-image than through your own body? Vogue magazine invented cellulite, <laughs> a perfectly normal thing, turned into a condition- Oh yeah, cellulite being a thing. Cellulite is completely normal, man. Dude, I didn't know this. I thought cellulite was from being fat, but it turns out cellulite is from being like normal. I sold into it. I did not know it until I like grew up a little bit. Marketers went hard, tapping into the insecurities of, of women, thing. driving the massive growth of the beauty industry. Buy this to be good enough was an extremely powerful message. Is it wrong to give people what they want by taking away their defenses? Uh, but much like with cigarettes, marketers realize they're missing 50% of their potential customers. Only this time, it was the men. <laughs> Much like Man, with the creative marketing of lung cancer sticks, this is not always in your best interest. And after many iterations, these standards, what people want, has become more and more unrealistic. Advertising lives or dies by its commercial success, and insecurity sells. The human brain has evolved over millions of years and isn't built to deal with the rapid rise of the My internet. Whether intentional done. or not, the display of unrealistic and deceptive ideals in the media exploits our cognitive biases, often to the detriment of both mental- Did he just Photoshop his junk to be bigger? What the- No way! They just Photoshopped his junk to look bigger! Ideals in the media exploits our cognitive biases, to the detriment of both men he put a shadow underneath it. mental and physical health it's why Bro. some of the most mainstream fitness advice is the least effective i don't know who still needs to hear this but you do not target fat around your stomach with specific exercises Eight no you don't million views oh let's ask the average person what they think let's stop asking the average person <laughs> what they do you know how f stupid the average yeah, person the is average person <laughs> Oh my god, the, the iron mixing this on this shit is, is so the Dunning weird. Kruger effect, where people with low experience in an area tend to overestimate their ability or knowledge. Regardless of how smart you are, if you're part of the human species, you're susceptible to your cognitive biases being exploited. Is he smart? No! He's a freaking good looking dude, okay? Mm -hmm. And he's making extremely large amounts of money by saying stupid things that don't make any sense, but you look at him and you're like, holy crap, he looks amazing. I'm gonna do what he's doing. This is the halo yeah. effect. And they think it's where real. people who are considered attractive tend to be rated higher on other positive traits as well. If you were to look at this podcast there. Is this some cheap shit, Joe? Oh, that's the, that's the shit, bro. You see that curtain down the back? Fat and meat and never eating carbs. But the way that he's tried to mimic the guest position on Joe Rogan you fucking piece of shit. Social proof is another. What? Where some Can someone explain that to me? I don't understand. What was that about? Restrap being a rat? I know, but what's that? What's the curtain thing? Same background? Oh, he's pretending to be on Joe Rogan. Oh, okay. I understand. I was like confused. I was, like, was he actually on it? Okay, I follow, I follow. Then Thank be you. a large following can make a person more yeah, trustworthy. I was a little bit confused. By presenting a certain body type or standard as the norm, marketers create a reference point that influences our perceptions of what is desirable. The anchoring effect. This, in an array of other blind spots, is what the media taps into. Often those people on social media, in magazines and on the yeah, big screen yeah, are just cogs in the machine. 
At the start, this was more blatant and easier to identify. Today, it's all around us, often with no escape. Don't get me wrong, I'm down for super effective marketing that helps people live healthier lives. But no other industry has such a high failure rate while being so profitable. I can't help but think back to the many people getting life-altering surgeries, developing eating disorders, and a lot of the negative mm -mm. side effects we haven't Five even discussed zero. yet. Meanwhile, obesity and suicide rates are on the rise Mongo. in America. And a recent poll found that one in eight UK adults have suicidal thoughts related to body image. There's a very clear disconnect. In fact, a Harvard lot. psychiatrist warned about this over 20 years ago. I don't think even he realized just how serious and widespread this would become. Giga chat. <laughs> Why do you have to do my man Giga chat like that? The many problems men have with their warped physical self-perception was grouped under an umbrella by Dr. Harrison Pope, the Adonis Complex. Adonis was half man, half god, according to Greek mythology. Visual perfection, Adonis. the god of beauty and attraction. Dr. Pope has documented cases of men quitting prestigious jobs, people smashing their own faces with a hammer to qualify for plastic surgery, and others what? dying from disordered diet and exercise regimens. Although Smashing these are extreme examples, face? this was over 20 years ago, and we've seen many more cases since. Pope suspects unrealistic standards driven by the media is what's fueled the rise of the Adonis Whoa. complex. Yes, I've done steroids. But here's the cut. Yeah, that, that whole thing was so funny. He's like, yeah, I've done steroids. Oopsie doopsies, bro. Oh no, I've been found out. I'm all natty! Turns out he's doing steroids. Oops. Patch. When beauty is so subjective, the ideals so extreme, the effects are fatal. Today's children are growing up with the internet as a constant presence in their lives, with little knowledge of a world without it. And the harmful effects of unrealistic body standards are evident through the growing list of casualties. I'm a 14 year old and I'm thinking about taking 50 milligrams of DECA per week for four weeks. I know about the side effects on adults, but not in teens. Is there any side effects I should- Oh my god. Is there side effects on a growing adult, uh, on a growing young adult body? A young teen body? Oh my gosh. At 14? Yes. You think there's not going to be repercussions? Oh my no. lord. I'm a 16 year old boy currently undergoing cosmetic limb lengthening surgery. I don't what? think I know what's best for me yet, but I absolutely cannot see myself regressing this decision. Sometimes unorthodox Hi, and drastic major. solutions are the best thank, ones. Thank you. I'm 15 years old and recently I found out station. about Psalms. My goal is to gain more muscle Hello. and get leaner. I'm yeah, 5 foot 16. 11 and 145 pounds currently. My main concern is whether or not I should take ligandrol, considering my age. These are just a few people on public forums. Yeah, you haven't stopped growing. Why would you get? Wait, what kind of doctor lets you have limb lengthening surgery when you don't stop growing until like 20? Parents get to say if you're a minor, no? Yeah, usually. That is so fucked up, man. Yeah, they should be they should be sued or like investigated. You don't stop growing until you're like 20 or something. Why would you do that? About to make life altering decisions with many going through with it. So yeah, I decided to start. Yeah, there's start a lot trying. of back doctors who do it for Whoa, money. Oh, right? dude, what did you just say? We're witnessing extremely young kids take puberty altering performance enhancing drugs with parents Why? suspected to be giving it to their children as young as six for a chance to make it straight to jail straight to jail straight to jail you're injecting steroids into your kid comically some of the sums out there were made as an experimental male birth control now you wonder why male birth control is hard to implement the abs on a child you're inadvertently oh my god i don't even want to say it i'll actually throw up an abs of Get in Hollywood. There's Why? not many drug use or abuse issues where you get complimented so much. And even people trying to do things more naturally are suffering. I know I look like complete rubbish, right? When you train every single day for like two hours, 
do a load of steps to get like four hours sleep you have no team to support you and everything is being done just by you it takes its toll in life there is this feeling that we all live with inadequacy there is this call bro it's it's guys the whole thing is like oh i'm being i'm more attractive when i have abs do you not see the correlation with how fucking weird it is to like put abs on a kid? Like what the fuck? That, I'm still I'm still reeling from that. I'm sorry. To achieve and to go beyond all expectations, that to outperform other people, to measure oneself against a panoply of influencers and gurus, to work ridiculously long hours. Scots was that one of the more sad. wholesome fitness YouTubers, doing much of the things we see Hollywood boast about. Yet, it seems to have contributed mm -mm, to his mm -mm, early mm -mm. death. But I've set it up, you're gonna think I'm gonna blow up. Oh, shit. I remember seeing a 19-year-old die of a heart attack in the local paper. Four different steroids were found in his system, with a suspected enlarged heart a contributing factor. Similarly to bodybuilder Dallas McCarver, who collapsed on stage, recovered, and sadly passed away with a heart Almost three times the size it should yeah. have been. A lot of people are speculating how much testosterone was this guy actually injecting to get a 55,000 nanogram per deciliter total T. There's tributes on YouTube for all of the bodybuilders who pass away. Each year, the age is getting lower. lower. Someone is literally going to have to die on stage before something changes in bodybuilding. Maybe these are extreme cases, but if you actually listen to what the very celebrities many look up to are saying, a very different side gets presented. So it's mm. hard to look like, even if you do work out, to be like that to be kind that of in kind shape is, is not, it's not natural. The way they achieve their rapid transformations is often highly unsustainable. For guys, that's unrealistic, I'm telling you. Zac like Efron actually went through a phase of depression and insomnia after his brutal drug-assisted crush Baywatch regimen. Channing Tatum, Luke Jack, Yeah, he was shredded, man. <sighs> God, I pity them. Jackson, Ed Sheeran, like, I know, I have, but like, you shouldn't be like pitying actors and like how Hollywood. That is still really sad. Even Arnold had heart surgery. Yeah, I mean, he was freaking cracked. Some fury developed eating disorders and are warned about their unsustainable practices. I started noticing it for the first time when I just started rebelling against a gym. And these people have the top coaches and doctors at their side. Truly, I don't know how people that work a nine to five actually stay in shape because it's my full time job and I can barely do it. When studies are suggesting yeah. the majority of men are now displaying signs of body dysmorphic disorder, it's an issue that's hard to ignore. But because of a stigma, speaking about this, seeking help, or even thinking about it is seen as weak, with many willing to end their lives or pin themselves because help isn't as much of. And even those who look the best aren't immune to this because everything is subjective. I look like a normal, reasonable human being with like an acceptable amount of like muscle tone, right? But still in my acceptable. head, it was like this crazy, just distortion, body dysmorphia. That is so sad to hear. That guy's fucking fit as fuck and he's like, I don't look good enough. Disparage. His hairline's gone? Yeah. Fun fact. I believe there was a study that also found that some people didn't get the steroids they thought they were getting. Some got things like starch and even high trace amounts of cyanide instead cyanide. of steroids. It is a black market with no regulation. Yeah, yeah, it's like buying drugs. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard this too. I've heard of people um, going to the gym. This is a story I heard from Discord from a guy that was like um, taking steroids and he developed like an actual roid rage problem. He quit and he still has like emotional problems. I think it exacerbated his issues, but he was saying like he was trying to get ripped and then he met a guy in the gym who he j just looked up to and that guy was doing roids and started selling roids to him. And I'm like, dude, that is so fucked up. It's like drug dealing. Well, this doesn't is, mean you, you know shouldn't I mean. find people in great like, shape motivated. Like drugs. Just like hard, hard even drugs. your favorite idols get older and struggle with these things. Yeah, it doesn't get much coverage because it's not as glamorous. I look, I throw up when I look in the mirror. Oh my God, are It's no them and us. Nope. Yeah, put it, doing them and us is exactly the reason why people fight over everything. It's not a them or us problem, it's a we problem. We have a problem. A lot of my range of buddies are big, 
But people also don't understand that we would work out four times a day for two to four three hours. Four times a day? Me, imperfectly fine sitting just above scrawny for a six feet person. The amount of supplements my friends would take oh, and yeah, the amount they would eat is nuts. Our command team actually started to ground certain people cause they would be a liability on a mission, due to the effects of their diets and supplements. Oh, oh, and then if they don't have their supplements, they start having, like, withdrawals or whatever? Or if they don't have enough food? You know, like, if you want to sustain that body, you basically have to eat or not eat because you're cutting, depending on what you're doing and at what stage you're at. It affects everyone around you. If you live or are like around other people, it's so bad. Dr. Pope suggests the following as potential outlets if you get caught up. Personally, I still- Hey everyone, so if you like this video, we're currently working on plenty more. So if you want to be notified when they're out, then please subscribe. This video was not anti-fitness. Unrealistic expectations, no, I don't think so body either. dysmorphia, and disordered behaviors, a massive be overlooked hurdles when it comes to getting in shape, whatever this means for you. I personally know how frustrating it is trying to live the life of a hardcore bodybuilder or making the progress <laughs> of a 10 year old. One of the areas I struggle with the most the end of the is video. eating out and doing so with some degree of flexibility. How about the so this is why I've put together a free build. guide to help you do so. The Lords of the Locker Room build? What is that? What the hell? Lords of the Locker Room build? Yeah, it was a good video. I didn't know a lot of things before the video started. <laughs> Chat, it's not a us versus them. It's a we. Stand together. You matter, chat. Mommy! Piss, piss, piss. Shit! Piss, 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 piss. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fucking shit on calm. Piss myself. Fuck, 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 fuck. Piss, fuck, piss, 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 piss,